Hey guys, as a uh, complimentary to the uh, tying video of the WAM fly, uh, I've excluded a part of that tying instruction into its own video and that's solely to show you how I make my wiggle tail rigs using the uh, stinger hook and the titanium wire. It's very similar to the way that uh, Niklas Bauer does his rigs with just a few exceptions. Um, so I thought it'd be nice for you to have a, a standalone video showing just to do the wiggle tail rigs as well. So, let's go. The thing you need to do first is attach the wiggle tail to something so that you can change your tails if you want to try another color or size or if it has been torn apart by a hungry pike. I use these 20 mm articulated shanks for this. Just add some super glue to it before attaching your thread and then wind it backwards to close the opening of the shank. Now get your wiggle tail and introduce it to the side of the shank like this. Then squeeze it around the shank and start tying it down. Let's speed it up shall we? You basically want to cover the shank with thread and then add super glue to the whole tying point before tying the thread off. Now remove the tail section and put it to the side for now. Put the stinger hook in the vise. I don't think I'll ever do a wiggle tail fly without a stinger hook rig. There are so many of the takes that will occur in the tail itself or far back in the fly. And there are a much higher percentage of the pikes that are hooked on the stinger on these flies than on any other stinger rigged flies I've fished with. Add some super glue to the shank of the stinger and attach your thread and then tie it down back to the hook bend. I'm gonna use the Vision soft pike wire as the main loop for attaching the wiggle tails. You can basically choose whatever wire or line you want really. There are no need for titanium wire here since this part will not be the one hooking the pike. It will only be used to attach the tail. Attach the wire on top of the hook shank and tie it down with a few turns of thread. The use of beads for any looped articulation are there for several reasons, one of the main ones being to reduce the risk of fouling, but also to get the loop stiffer as well as increasing movement and protect the tying point. But since I want the tail to be as close to the stinger as possible, I add only one bead here. Now, to be able to actually change the tails when I need or want to, I'm using the smallest snap locks here. This is a fast stack size zero. And just like you've seen Niklas Bauer do his wiggle tail rigs. Simply thread the snap onto the wire, then thread the wire back through the bead. Next you want to tighten the loop of the wire and start tying it down, the entire wire section down on the shank of the stinger hook, all the way up to the hook guide. Now snap off any wire that's too long before securing it all with more super glue and then tying the thread off here. Sky. 
Now we got the tail section and the stinger hook section. Time to add the final piece of the puzzle, the main hook. Use about 30 centimeters of titanium wire. I like to use the 38 pound wire, which is a bit thinner than the ones used by most other fly tires. Mainly because I don't want to add as much weight as the thicker one does. Uh, loop the wire under the hook like this, and then from the top of the hook thread both ends of the titanium wire through the hook guy. Start tightening the wire now, and towards the end you might want to use a set of fine pliers to tighten it further. Remember that the ends of the titanium wire are very sharp, so be careful here. Once you've tightened it thoroughly, you use the pliers to slightly bend the wire here, so that it ends up in line with the hook shank, horizontally. Now, remove the stinger rigging from the vise and take forth your main hook of choice. I like to use either the Attitude Streamer 4.0 or the Universal Predator 4.0, both from Partridge. This wouldn't have been possible if I would have used a thicker titanium wire, because then it would have filled up the hook guy. Again, add super glue and then tie in your thread, Speedy Gonzalez style. Now, measure your stinger rigging in length. I like it to be no more than 10 to 12 cm from the main hook. If I make it longer, the fly will have too much weight in the back, the stinger hook and the tail will ride below the rest of the fly. Also, remember that how you place the rigging here will decide if the stinger hook will ride point up, point down or to the side. I like mine to the side or up to further increase hooking. Thread the wire through the hook guy and tie the ends of the wire down on the underside, close to the hook guy. And if you haven't already, I suggest you add some type of protection to the stinger hook to prevent from hooking yourself, like I just did. Next thing is optional, and won't be necessary if you use a bigger main hook. But I like to add a snap here, the ones I've used on my leaders, through the hook guy. This is only to make sure that I tighten the wire enough to fit the snap in the hook guy later. In the beginning when I tie these flies, I found several times while fishing that I hadn't tightened the wire enough for the snap to fit in the hook guy, which of course kind of sucked once you were out fishing. But then, then again, if you choose a bigger hook, this won't be a problem. And to really make sure it is tight in the hook guy, you can use the pliers once again and press the wire down at the hook guy while at the same time stretching the wire back as much as you can. Tie it down with several hard turns of thread while keeping the wire stretched. As you can see, the snap hangs freely now, so you can remove it at this point. Now speed tie the rest of the shank and cover the entire wire. Be careful when you pass the ends because they can easily cut your thread off. Add super glue to the entire shank, making sure you cover all tying thread. And try not to touch wet super glue with your fingers if you can avoid it. I use a small towel or a cloth to wipe off any excess glue and to make sure the glue is dry. <laughs> 